Ho ho ho! Hello and very welcome back to Android Hundred Mega City on this very fine day. Um, not really appropriate for the seasons, is it? Oh, who are you? There is someone here that has uh, probably some presents for us. Let's just have a look at him and Every see what he's got Christmas to say. Every day is Christmas to me. I'm always buying too many gifts. I think I can come to take them back before they're opened. So we do need to find five presents for Santa. They're now scattered throughout my city. And yeah, well, we of course trying to do this because it's a special day and everybody should get a gift or somehow and oh look at that automobiles have been invented it looks like it <laughs> there's something missing so let's just have a look around and find us uh, those presents shall we now that we have them just lying around here have been missed there you go number one another one just as we enjoy the view of this uh, smaller city in crown falls let's pick it up And number five. Let's bring him back to Santa Claus. Christmas isn't about presents anyway. It's about snow. <laughs> Here, make it snow. And with that, we have unlocked a new power to make it snow. <laughs> now, this is the perfect weather to just start something finally in the city center with our new town hall that we constructed. And yeah, well, the town hall is still missing a plaza area, is it? Something in front of it here in the town center of Crown Falls. And while visibility might not be the best, uh, we can still go ahead and build this one here. So, of course, we're going to build a Christmas market right in front of the town hall. It is one of our holiday packages that we have. And with the Christmas market, we do have this beautiful big area. Let's make it also three tiles in this direction and three tiles in this direction. And then we have the space around it here for more buildings then, of course, because, yeah, obviously we can have more um, houses there there's a lot of space here after all but enough with that uh, we do want to have a christmas market and yeah well we do go ahead with a few ornaments that we want to have there so we do have uh, decorative light posts that i might actually have we do want to have an entrance of course to the whole area so let's just get rid of this one here again so that we can have us a nice beautiful entrance that goes then into the whole market of course this is a holiday decoration right so this changes with the seasons we might have a christmas market now and uh, later on we might have um an easter market or something like that let's make us some entrances there so people can actually enter um with that also another entrance here and probably just on the other side another entrance here as well Next, let's get rid of some of the pavings here, left and right. I want to have some Christmas trees, of course, as well, that we can squeeze in just nicely here in the in the center. Of course, what do these uh, Christmas trees need as well? Well, they do need to have some presents in front of them. Let's need to change the paving here as well. It also cannot hurt to have Santa Claus himself at the presentation. So we do have some Father Christmas thrones uh, sitting here as well. As the weather is get uh, getting worse, as it seems. Definitely also have some more trees here at the, the corners. So we have also these smaller Christmas trees. Now it can't hurt to have some lights on the Christmas market. So we're going with these decorative uh, light bulbs that we can have over here and over here as well some of them change to the new world style so we need to change the paving there as well you can have a christmas market in the new world too now what would be a christmas market without a merry-go-round for the kids let's go ahead two of them should be sufficient snowman could greet a new visitors so let's just have us uh, some snowman here in the center of every entrance so also here just what is super important at every christmas market of course it's the food we do need something for food as well so we do have plenty of them here so with sweet wine and wine stalls and goods and well sugar buns let's go ahead and have some of them yeah well here at the i think some of them have four tiles some of them have 
three tiles. Let's go ahead and have them here. Also three of them like this. In all different color variations. The same Ship goes for that side here. Oh yes, well Christmas does not mean peace. So I will need to check my fleets there here as well. But for now this is more important. And we're going to head here with those three. Of course people also need to sit and stand where they purchase something and eat. So we are also going to have these tables. And more light bulbs, light posts here. There's a charitable heart in there. I'm sure of it. Definitely too empty looking. Let's go with a few more. I always remember Christmas markets being rather crowdy and tight. So this should get the job done. And of course, also on the other side, more stalls we need. Together with uh, some more tables. Ah. Trees are never enough. Let's add some two more uh, Christmas trees then left and right to the town, town hall. Uh, the weather is getting really, really bad. I don't see a thing. But yeah, that's the Christmas market. And with uh, that, we have also, of course, a nice lightning show. So also during nighttime, of course, it is a beautiful time. You go to Christmas markets when it's dark usually. So there you go. In all its glory, getting treated, drinking some mulled wine right over there in the at the Christmas bakery as well. I hope you brought winter coats with you because it's really, really cold out here. Oh, there's hot chocolate. I always love that. And a hot wine. And of course, Santa Claus as well. I mean, he might not be the real one, but he's still giving you presents. And with that... I wish you a Merry Christmas. fire service. They help me a lot. Now we do have some more space around the market itself. Let's continue with, uh, yeah, getting us the buildings over there. I think I've moved a few buildings away sometimes. And um, we can also use these artisans down here and move them Move them to that side because I think they are actually so being fulfilled with everything, mind. right? We do have so a school close by, so we can make this work that um, we just move them over and then upgrade them. And I would like to do this. So let's go ahead and have some more artisan See buildings the right over there. The and by the way, here. And here. This is then going then into the, into the uh, town hall, of course. Town hall area. Let's actually keep a bit of a this more distance. Here we can do more. Genius. A carpenter, very good. Thank you, Bente. Oh, the good tourist. Strange tourist that I don't know. There you go also. And then we have a bit more space here. We might actually get us a service building in there then at some point. And let's keep the distance there to the town town area, right? Just in case we do want to have something else then. And behind it, let's also have some roads. And some entrances as well, left and right to the, the plaza itself. Now, this plaza we can change then, right, with the seasons if we want to. For now, it's a Christmas market appropriate for the season. That's it, though. Um, I think we do have some problems somewhere else in the world. And it is here in the new world. We're losing ships. Why is that? Miss Hunt settled on this island while I was decorating stuff. And she is destroying ships that are passing by. So there is no Christmas peace, unfortunately. I will have to go in here and take over Vermouth, as it's called. And I think we lost... Oh, yeah, we already lost two ships to that. 
that I will need to replace, of course. Twist of Coral, there you go. And for the Soul Peter, Tailwind is on it. Oh, Soul Peter, that was especially important. Coffee's also gone. Three ships we've lost so far. Let's also replace this trade rod there right away. And let's move in. Now, at least it's not snowing in the new worlds. We have a beautiful sunny day. And yeah, once again, hurting us a bit here with the sea mines. I mean, we can also say that this is a Christmas present to Miss Hunt, right? Merry Christmas, Miss Hunt. Let's take it over. Thank you for the present. And there it is. is Island is ours. I guess once more. No, it's not once more. You we never had it before. Now dead. it's ours. And let's just have my ships close by here just to make sure. I think there's also something down here. No, it's just lots of airships that are running around. Yeah, more steamships now. But other than that, I think we should be fine. Now, also in Manola, very important, very, very important. We can finally finish the hangar um, of Manola. And with that, also start building us some airships. Righto, and I would like to go ahead and uh, get cracking on this right away. We got the Atotolin. <laughs> we got also the armed airships, of course. They will cost me weapons. And then also here, uh, the bigger airships that we have then for the trading especially. Let's go with one of the bigger ones at first, because we also want to do lots of trading then. And airship is now in construction, I think. Yep, we can also see it now appearing in here. It's going to take a while though, right? So the full... 15 minutes that it's going to take but fret not we have other stuff to do while this is happening one of those things is i fixed the mod with the schools so we had the, the school demand here for the obreras and now we finally do have the, the school again in the city itself um it's a bit hard to find really right because you need to to go through a few areas here and you actually need to sort it to the process of progress and then you have the school again and yeah we do need i think around two of them right the Obreros uh, do want schools, so we could have one here for this area. Um, let's just go ahead and move... Yeah, somewhere here in the center. Let's move these guys away. I think we are just going to take the Funaleros. And I'm going to move them somewhere else right now. And then we have this space here again to move in the Obreros. Like here. Right, and yeah, like so. And then we can actually have some ornaments in the center there. Not a road, please, but something else. Perhaps a canal system going through. And then we have our first New World School. That we can then have just along the main road, really. Or beside the main road. And this should lead me into a nice happiness boost there now. Very good. As the Obreros are going up again. And this demand has been fulfilled now. Of course, one is not enough. Because we do have quite a lot of Obreros. And quite a, a long stretched city. So the other school we could have then somewhere over here. Uh, let's have another bridge, by the way. We have one bridge here for the main road. And we should be able to have a second bridge at least somewhere here. There you go. Over there to the to the airport then as well, right? This is also important because it will serve us the purpose of spreading the school influence to the other side as well. Um, since artistas don't need schools... Uh, we don't need to have it here, the school, but rather for this area, right? So I would like to have the school somewhere here in a rather remote location a bit, perhaps with some green stuff around it because children like to play outside and we should enable it, right? Not beside the main road. That's just schools are not beside main roads. That is something you don't have. Uh, let's go ahead and have the second school then here somewhere in this rather quiet area. There you go. And we could also have some trees around it. But they have a nice playground there by the cliffs. There you go. And some trees behind it. And the school spreads, as we can see now, also to the other side. Further boosting up the happiness of the Obreros. Propaganda-wise, uh, it's looking very good. We only need really this one for the consumption. Another attack. Oh my, she has another island. What is this? Why are my ships all of a sudden prone to her attacks. We do need to change this around there a bit. Right? Especially the trade routes going to the new world and to the old world. We need to make sure that they're not getting close to this island here, Milk Church. Even though, of course, we could just take it over there. Let's move the trade routes here to the new world. 
Right, and probably for Milk Church, go ahead and take my fleet and also take over this island here. It does cost me influence, but it is just very important that we keep this area here clear of Miss Hunt. I don't want to have her close by. Yeah, she's settling somewhere else again. She's very active right now, settling on the smaller islands because she lost the bigger ones. Now for Manola itself, we also have a bit of a problem that we are consuming too much beer right now. It's constantly out. We're consuming 17 beer per minute at the moment. That's a lot. So consumption rate is really high for these things. We produce a surplus of three in Crown Falls. That is not enough. We do need to bump up our beer production there as well significantly. So back to snowy Crown Falls. Um, let's move over to my beer production that we should have somewhere. There it is. In this area, it's not boosted in any way, so we could contemplate, we could think about boosting it too. There is the, the power station, it's really not far away, right? And we, we don't have a perfect connection over there at the moment, because the roads are not fully upgraded. Doing so should solve some issues that we have. Oh, especially here, this is looking bad. There were no roads at all in these areas. Then also to that other side. This should lead now to a lot of electrification. Very good. Yes, all the breweries are now electrified up to the last one over there. So this is doubling the beer output right away without any further uh, further needs. Um, I could also go ahead and get rid of this road here, which is really not needed. To bump in another, hmm, another brewery. We can do this. Should exist to meet human needs. More alcohol we need. Um, I also should check out the malt. The malt surplus is still there, so we could still go ahead with more breweries. Either by yeah, boosting them electrically. Um, there is more room here. The they don't have electricity, but at least we have a bit more beer production then. I mean we don't we shouldn't really need that much, right? Artistas don't need beer, so it's all for the abrowers, really. Oh wait a second, I think artistas do need beer. That's right. Yes, they do need beer. This is why consumption is high. All right, then we do actually need to have probably a much bigger beer production. We could think about a trade union for this area. Uh, that might solve a, a few issues that we have as well. By the way, there's still some workers here that we probably should go ahead with as well. But what is also really important is, of course, besides now a constant supply, we are now having a supply of around 20 surplus. Um, Sorry, I need to check it out again in Manola. The total demand for beer is sitting at 17. So now we have a surplus again. Very good, but only a, sh a, sh a short one, right? A slight one that might change again. We still need to bump up the, the hops production there as well. And for that, Shodix. So there's the shares again. And in Shodix, there is this fur coat dealer. Let's get rid of it. And I would just like to take my hops plantations and just put them over there again. Now, in that case, I could also just boost them. But we are not doing this because I think we'll be fine with uh, those hops plantations that we have. Um, I will need a few more warehouses. So that stuff is getting delivered. That's a bit more. And yeah, let's also have more here. We are not boosting them yet. No, we are not. We could boost them theoretically. Happiness is high enough. Those farmers Demon probably clock. need something. Oh, they actually have everything. A bit of more schnapps they might need. That's That could solve the problem. We're all yep, let's boost the schnapps output there as well. And also build us another the warehouse there as well. Boy, the weather is really bad today. Perhaps you should rinse out your mouth. So let's go back to the new world. It's clear and sunny. Let's take over the next island, Milk Church 2. I think Milk Church 1 suffered a terrible fate. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry guys. I took over the island. It's no longer yours. And the next island belongs to us then. Rightfully so. No, it cannot be. Yeah, very good. That was actually good loot here. Lots of botanical garden items. 
we just should remember this then once we get to it. Now let's get my ships back home again. It's looking rather good in the new world, right? So we took over lots of islands there. This will not affect the, the military score too much. As we can see, it's actually climbing up again. So she's just building defenses somewhere else. In Manola, um, we have still yeah some Honolaus that I would like to continue upgrading. Those guys here. Um, and there is the need for a marketplace. It's a bit too far away, but it's just not paved properly. So let's go ahead. Yeah, brick-wise, it's fine. So I would just like to go ahead and continue with advancing over there to our airport then. This should actually solve the problem. It is perfect. This one here is not quite there yet. Oh, next marketplace is too far away. But those guys, oh, they are fine though. It's really just this one building there. It's really just this one here. So what we will do just instead, I'm just going to take one of the Obreras and move it over there. And that's it, right? Because uh, this way there will be no no gaps here with Honolulu residences. Shortly after, I can upgrade all of them. Perfect. By the way, also the Hacienda, of course, wants a school. We don't have one here yet. Um, let's just check it out where we could have it. I think we might be able to use it somewhere here in the center, right? That should work out. Yes, there, for example. Let's move those two Obreras away there a bit to the chapel over there for now. And we do have a road here that we don't need to have this size. And then we can squeeze in a nice school at the center of it because they would like that as well. And this further bumps up the happiness then once more, and the beer should do its uh, job then as well. Those are Braras. Hmm. <laughs> a bit tight here now. The chapel is important. The chapel. Then we can have the Braras right next there too. Bear in mind, this is all just a basic layout that we have right now. Things are about to change then as well, once we advance to the, the higher tiers, then especially with the service buildings that we have. Alrighty, so far so good. Airship construction on the way. And, well, overall, I think I'm keeping this episode a bit shorter because I would just like to enjoy a bit more hot wine and hot chocolate at our uh, Crown Falls Christmas market before the weather gets even worse. I should definitely head there now. Um, see you then tomorrow and Merry Christmas, everybody. Stay tuned.